This is Eyewitness News. Heard of secondhand smoke, but there is another real health hazard called thirdhand smoke. And up next, an expert will tell us what thirdhand smoke is and how it could cause lung cancer in non smokers. heard of secondhand smoke and the dangers associated with it, but have you heard of thirdhand smoke? It can be a major hazard to your health. And joining us to discuss it is thoracic surgeon Dr. Eric Presser. Dr. Presser, thank you for joining us because we saw you during um, our coverage of the fire, so you helped out with that a lot. But let's talk about it. We've heard of firsthand smoke. We've heard of secondhand smoke. So what is thirdhand smoke? So thirdhand smoke is actually the uh, toxic cocktail of substances that coats objects and surfaces once the secondhand smoke is uh, dissipated, if you will. And a lot of people don't even know what third-hand smoke is. Um, it's the exposure of your skin, your hair, but more importantly, it's in the walls, it's in the furniture, Ooh. it's in the carpet. So it's become a big topic of conversation, especially for those who smoke and they have children. Mm. Because when I was raising my children, and I still am, we told them the only thing that should go in your mouth is food. Well, it's very difficult when you have a toddler crawling around mm -hmm. and they're picking up pieces of carpet or they're constantly touching surfaces and they're putting their hands in their mouth. And that, we are learning, is causing a lot of toxic uh, effects that can cause um, early asthma, Oh. Uh, upper respiratory infections or developmental and cognitive delays in children. That's distressing. So lung cancer is the number one killer in the world and how many people are affected by lung cancer? So uh, worldwide it's about 1.6 uh, million people. Uh, what's very interesting is here in the United States even though uh, rates of smoking have gone down we still have about 225,000 deaths uh, 225,000 cases reported each year with about 125 to 130,000 deaths. It makes it the number one cancer killer, not just in the world, but in the United States. It causes more uh, deaths than colon cancer, breast cancer, and prostate cancer combined. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's talk about lung cancer. It's not necessarily always self-inflicted. It's not as though a smoker is going to get it. Sometimes non-smokers get cancer. So. Whenever I have anyone that comes into my office who's over the age of 55, I tell them, not do you smoke, I ask them, how much, did you, how much do you smoke or when did you quit? Mm -hmm. And they look at me like I'm crazy. But the truth is, is that we carry an iPhone nowadays the way they carried a pack of cigarettes. So it's not necessarily their fault. So once you establish that with the patient and you tell them it's not their fault, what I do is I try to explain to them about the harmful effects of smoking. Usually when they're in my office, we're talking about a lung mass or a lung, a lung nodule that we found. But what's more important that people have to understand is that up to 15% of non-smokers develop cancer. Mm. And the stigma is that when someone you find out gets cancer, you think that it's self-inflicted. Mm -hmm. You think that they maybe even deserved it. And that's not true. I can tell you story after story about someone who, for example, works in the casinos, never smoked, breathing in all that secondhand smoke. Obviously, there's a genetic predisposition mm -hmm. to it, but they end up with lung cancer, and it's not their fault. Wow. And you have so much in your book, An Empowering Guide to Lung Cancer. You can check that out because uh, six steps to taking charge of your own care in your own life. I think about the parents of my friend who smoked all the time in the car. How sure. much I, did I inhale of that oh, stuff? You know? it's Thank true, you very though. much. We could talk about this for a long time. And uh, check out his book. You can um, check out uh, Empowering Guide to Lung Cancer Six Steps to Take Charge of Your Care and Your Life. And thank you very much, Dr. Presser. Thank, thank you for you. having me. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Really interesting we'll topic. See you, see you soon. Absolutely. All right. Thank you.